Okay. So we will start. Thank you for all of you to stay to this last session of the day. I know it was a very tough day for all of you, and uh, and it's uh, it's a pleasure for us to be able to speak in front of you, even if it is the last session, and even if just after we will have the party. So. Uh, we will speak about uh, public cloud computing. So the, the subject uh, of this session is CloudWatt, a CloudWatt use case, and what we have done regarding the deployment of OpenStack to build a, a European public cloud uh, uh, in uh, European public cloud. So first, we start by the weather in Europe. Is it cloudy or is it sunny today? I don't know, really. But uh, I, what I can say is that it is cloudifying a lot really cloudifying a lot. And uh, CloudWatt is, uh, is simply a good example. It's a small company started one year ago. We have started in September last year. And uh, thanks to uh, three main stakeholders, Orange, a telco company, Thales, a security and defense company, and French governments. And they all together invested 225 million euros to build a cloud service provider for YAT, infrastructure as a service. It's just impressive to see that they have decided that and uh, they have invested on that compared to all the monsters, the, competit the competitors you can see all over the world. So we have started this, uh, this story in September and uh, our main differentiator is based on two main things, open source and security. Open source because we want to be free, I want to insist on that, and security because we have to differentiate ourselves from the competition and we have to provide very high level of security, of privacy, of uh, uh, independency, and this is something our customers are asking. Really, we have to deliver this type of services in order to be different from the market. So uh, the other aspect of, uh, of this project is to sustain the global economy in Europe, and uh, there's about 1,000 jobs forecasted in two, two to in five to seven years in Europe, thanks to, to, uh, to uh, this type of initiative. Just to give some flavors today, CloudWatt, it's about uh, 90 people. Remember, we have started from zero, and uh, 90 people worked, working in CloudWatt, and about 180 people globally working for CloudWatt, even today. So let's speak about our open source strategy, our strategy and our DNA, because it's it's totally linked. So open source st strategy, why? A lot of things have been said just before. For security reason, because in, a, in, the, in this code, normally there's no backdoor. There's a lot of A's able to see, to scrut this code and to analyze this code. So it's very interesting for security reason to uh, build solution based on open source. Second thing is co-innovation. Co-innovation because um, when you are working with that, you know there's a game today about patent trolling or things like that. It's not possible when you are using code coming from community to be attacked by a company for patent troll uh, aspect. The other thing is openness and interoperability for the customers. The customers don't want to be locked in a proprietary solution. Open source is a, is a sort of uh, thing very interesting for them because they know that they will deal with an open uh, code with an interoperable code, and they will not have this lock-in mechanism they will have to afford with other solutions. And um, cost-cutting operation is obvious. There's no license cost, no maintenance cost on license, so it's a way to decrease the overall uh, total cost of ownership of your solution. So it's something very useful when you are busy building your business model to think about uh, open source. About sovereignty, uh, when you are a cloud provider like us, you want to manage your future. You want to be to master your foundation. You want to be sure that there's nothing which is not under your own responsibility. You can change what you want, where you want, and you can manage your future very properly. And you want to be independent, independent of this solution. And no lock-in mechanism is also something you want for yourself. You don't want to be locked in a proprietary solution. So when you are building this solution, you are making this type of choice. Obviously, when you see our DNA, it's exactly what you are proposing as value added for our customer. Reversibility. If a customer stay in, uh, in CloudWatt, if he is happy with our services, he will stay with us. If not, he can leave. And if we want to leave, we will give him back all his data, all the workload, all what is not his property, by the way, 
And uh, this is our commitment. So reversibility is the first thing. Transparency, you want to audit what you are doing. You want to know what you are doing with your data, with your workload. You will give to you all the evidence for you to know what is happening there. Um, sovereignty, I've said that, that just before, but no legacy is very, um, again, very important because um, we have no, nothing coming from the past. Nothing was, we, it's a full greenfield approach. We are starting from scratch. So we have been able to make all the best choice we can do at, at that moment. It's also the low cost aspect, like said before, for an airline when you when we make a choice of the best plane, the best engine, uh, and uh, the lower uh, recurring cost you can find. It's, that's the aspect of low cost we have, we, we have um, in front of us. So that's the reason why you have made all this choice. And data localization is something really key for European company, it, and especially today. If you can guarantee them that the data will be located in the country they want, it's uh, a sort of services which is uh, really important compared to uh, the recent security um, concern you have read in the paper recently. So what about OpenStack and why betting on OpenStack one year ago? Look at this wave. No way to resist. When you have this wave in front of you, the only thing to do is to be inside. Like a surfer, if you want, you take the benefit of the wave to go faster, to go quicker, and to have fun, by the way. OpenStack is exactly that. It's a, one of the biggest community we have never seen. It's, this community is growing. It's growing every day. And it's proposing something very professional. It's a timely release. The releases are really on time and with the new features each time, or everything you are expecting is delivered. And uh, you have in front of you a very strong ecosystem. You can have all the support you need. You can touch the best guy at the right moment when you need this guy. So that's the strength of this, uh, of this community. And even if you are a small company, you can have an impact on that. That's exactly what we have done. We were three at the beginning, no really technical guys. And as soon as the technical guys were recruiting in CloudWatch, they were able to deal with this community to give some new features, to give some, uh, uh, in, to, 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 to decide some blueprints and to, and, and to discuss with the community about that. And this is very interesting because you are part of that. You can influence uh, what uh, OpenStack will deliver tomorrow if you are really uh, involved in this community. And in parallel, you have to understand that OpenStack is totally open and already you can have hybrid scenario thanks to OpenStack through the API, through everything, because all the major players are there. All the solutions are OpenStack compatible. So it's already something you can have, you can do uh, at a business level with all your partners. And the partners want to come in this game, want to play in this game, because they know that, because they know that it is feasible. And it's very interesting to see the overall ecosystem now running around CloudWatch just for that reason. They all want to build solution OpenStack compatible. They all want to uh, transform their own solution to be OpenStack compatible. And that's the reason why it's, it's really speedy at the moment. And that's the reason why also uh, we uh, are at the level we'll see just after. So, Sorry. Where are we and what have we done in one year? Look at this mountain and um, just imagine that we try to, to reach the roof of the world and, uh, and you have this long uh, way, uh, long journey in front of you. We are not at the top of, uh, of the mountain, not, not at the summit. We are so, somewhere in the base camp at 6,000 meters where all the companies cannot be because you have already to make some effort to be there. But we know that there's something else to do to, to reach the, the, the top of the mountain. But we, have, we are already delivering services. We are up and running since months. We have our overall hardware set up and running. And uh, we have open uh, storage services, secure storage services for our customers for months. Already there's about 5,000 customers 
each day there's about 200, 300 new customers per day coming to uh, use our services. In our services, we have developed a box, um, what we call a cloud white box, equivalent to Dropbox if you want, but a cloud white box. And uh, in order for you to, to, to manage properly your collaborative environment, you can invite what you want, and you can share with them documents in a secured way. You can manage your role, all these aspects, for only the people you have invited uh, are allow allowed to read this document and to share the document with you and nobody else again. And this is a service very useful to avoid this kind of, uh, um, the, of uh, shadow IT you can see in, uh, in, in each company. So these services are really used and uh, we have, to do that, we have developed all around OpenStack what was described before. We develop or integrate some module to build CRM, to billing, ticketing, everything we need to operate. And the full DevOps um, system has been set up. We are in a full integ continuous integration mode. We are, we are able to drop a code on a daily basis, which is just impressive. Just imagine all the steps, all the stage from development to production, going through uh, integration and uh, pre-production, all that is fully dynamic, fully uh, managed uh, dynamically uh, thanks to OpenStack mainly, because again, these environments are running on OpenStack. And, uh, and it's fully automatized. We can um, play all the tests of, uh, uh, all the testing, all the stressing, all the tests for quality of code or for uh, security of code, all that is, is automatized. That's the reason why we are at this level for uh, DevOps aspect globally. So tremendous job uh, has been done by our ops team and our uh, engineering team to do that. Um, the l bottom line is very interesting as well because uh, this dynamic ecosystem of partners, either vendor or integrator, so uh, internet software vendors or value-added integrators, they all are working to push and to transform the solution for their solution to be compatible to OpenStack. Let's remember that the uh, main referential of the cloud is VMware, so <laughs> sometimes they have to understand the the small difference between VMware and OpenStack, we help them to do that, we support them to do that, and it's uh, uh, a, a real uh, dynamic activity we have around us uh, coming from all the, the, those partners. But the game is not totally finished for, for, for us, and we are participating a lot uh, in the community to, to add value and to, and to climb this, uh, this mountain. So, our recent contribution is described here, so software-defined network, where desperately needs a fully software environment for this dynamic aspect of provisioning, including compute software and, and storage. Um, what we call smart, smart placement or intelligent placement, again, a lot of constraints coming from legislation, leg, um, legislation, yes, regulation or contract, contractual aspect when uh, Customer asks for special aspect of security, security policy, or data localization on a given country, or things like that. Or if we want his data close to the compute for uh, latency reason, or, or things like that. We can do that, and we are doing that, and we have proposed something in the, um, in the community to do that properly. Uh, Hadoop on Savannah on Havana, a fantastic demo has been done yesterday on, on that topic. Um, it's a uh, distributed, it's a um, distribution of Hadoop we have set up in a full cloud mode, we multi-tenant mode, and, uh, and uh, we are able to set up this environment very quickly on the cloud for people who want to make uh, analytics on, 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 on its data. So it's, we are enabling this type of services thanks to the cloud computing platform, okay? And uh, we have also translated all the documentation of OpenStack in French. It seems to be something uh, not that important, but there's about 80 francophone countries all over the world. So it's a way of disseminating OpenStack widely and to be able to in interoperate with other companies who are doing cloud elsewhere in the world. So it's, it's also very interesting to see the impact of we can have by, by doing this type of, of thing. 
And we're also pushing some uh, codes in, uh, in storage uh, for Erasure code or, or for georeplication. Again, the aim is to increase the uh, overall resilience of, uh, of the solution and to decrease the total, the, 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 the TCO, so the cost of ownership. So we will, we have other participation in, for the module and we will push on it as an example again to give some uh, additional means to our customer for them to deploy easily a global system of virtual machine, which is something they desperately need if they want to manage properly their information system. We will increase our, particip our participation to this analytics and big data at, uh, in order to be a meta enabler of this type of services. And uh, we will continue on uh, this uh, deployment aspect by uh, playing with OpenStack over OpenStack in order to be able to deploy a large, large type of deployment uh, on OpenStack. So this is what we are doing to grow in this, uh, in this uh, system and to reach uh, this, uh, the, the, the roof of the world. And uh, that's the ambition we have and that's where we are at the moment. Now, I leave the floor to Raphael, who wants to speak about yeah. the way of accelerating the, the road to, to the cloud. Okay, thanks. Um, it's not finished with Daniel. <laughs> um, I'm Raphael Ferreira, I'm the CEO of uh, Innovance, and you are a partner with uh, CloudWatt since the beginning. We work with them in the OpenStack uh, area. And uh, thanks to CloudWatt to help us to progress in this area and to contribute directly to, to the project. So as you can see, uh, choosing OpenStack to launch your cloud platform is the best choice you can make. Uh, but how can you reduce your time to market and, and be sure you can be ready for production in a short time? So to do that, we believe there are four things you absolutely need to think about. So this is based on our experience with CloudWatt. Uh, first of all, an agile methodology for easier step-by-step -step progress. Reference architecture for a clear understanding of needs and associated designs that fit them. Automation and continuous integration from the beginning, you must build a platform that is upgradable and scalable. And um, to finish, all in one integrated solution. OpenStack is just a part of the solution, so you need a full stack to enter in the game. So the, the, the approach we recommend is based on the agile methodology. So why? Uh, first of all, to avoid the tunnel effect. This is a complex project with a lot of interaction. So please iterate and stay focused on your minimum valuable product first. Continuous delivery. Every two weeks, offer a gift to your user. It could be a small features or um, something more complex, but try to offer a gift to your user in a replicable cycle. So this methodology is also need to allow for continuous innovation and follow the release cycle of OpenStack. Each six months, you have a major release, so you have to be able to upgrade easily your platform, and you need to think about that at the very beginning. So this agile methodology always starts with a discovery workshop where we review the customer needs and the objective of the project. Once the needs have been identified, we create a, a test environment to ensure that the um, recommended solution works. And once we have qualified the solution, we start three types of sprints. The design sprints to build all the specification, architecture diagram, and user stories. The deployment sprint in where we build the cloud and the CI platform for automated testing and the development sprint in where we build all the specific features for the provider. In this process, we are also in charge of the upstream acceptance to be sure as a service provider, 
you will stay in conformity with the OpenStack core project. So, in terms of reference architecture, the first things to being a cloud provider is to identify what you want to do and who you want to be on this market. So communication is about repetition. So this is uh, exactly the same slides as my partner a uh, <laughs> few minutes ago, but it's not a problem. Uh, so there is no perfect reference architecture, but there is a solution for every provider. And one of the key things to reduce your time to market is to be sure you will be profitable is to start with a reference architecture. So find the design, test it, realize some benchmark, compare several solutions, estimate your cost, it take time, several months at least. At Innovance, we benchmark hardware since several years. So we are always testing different technologies so we can stay on top of what type of architecture fit to your specific needs. And it's a huge, huge, huge work to do that and to find the appropriate solution for your specific market. So through the years, we have been able to develop strong relationships with a variety of partners. However, our approach has always been agnostic, which allows us to ensure that the customer's needs maintain pre -pri priority and provide the best solution for them with goal of limiting time to market and cost while optimizing the technology that fits. So, provider needs multiple things, but at the very beginning, you need physical deployment tools that support deployment on several hardware vendors, rollback capacity, rapid massive deployments, and assurance of conformity. So, to do that, we develop a tool. The name is uh, eDeploy. It's an open source tool. You can find it on our GitHub at uh, Innovance. And it's an image-based deployment tool to uh, have discover on the, on the hardware and to automatically configure and provision all the hardware stack. You have several projects in the OpenStack area to do that. But we try to work on the open, with the OpenStack community and O and this kind of project to federate and integrate all those, those initiatives in uh, one main project. So you, you also need to maintain the platform over time. For this, nothing replaces uh, a capacity to automatically test your use case against new proposed version. So for this reason, all of our deployments comes with a full continuous integration chain which is a per customer extension of the OpenStack CI. Uh, together with Puppet, eDeploy, and Jenkins are the core components which we use to orchestrate and operate physical deployment and upgrades. Then, services which are deployed on top of the cloud need not only a configuration management tool, but also an orchestration tool, and for that, we choose to standardize with it and uh, Puppet. Um, as I said previously, OpenStack is just a part of the solution, but you need a full integrated stack to launch your service and generate revenues. So to do that, we develop a complete stack with all the necessary tools. In this graph, the, the, the red is the OpenStack infrastructure, which we all know, and this is the foundation for all the solution. It's 100% open source, and we have fully integrated various components, depending on the customer needs with the goal of reducing time to market. So you can find an e-commerce web uh, portal. It could be based on um, Magento. Uh, you find a CRM based on a sugar CRM. You find uh, ticketing tools. You find uh, binning tools. And we developed a, a bus to integrate all those components in the same way on top an, of an OpenStack project. And the OpenStack installation could, could be a Red Hat installation or Ubuntu installation or Debian distribution. 
whatever, we try to standardize and to keep the open source approach for this project. So just in a 30 minutes, not possible to give you a complete overview of uh, cloud deployment like CloudWatt. So the, the best way to move forward is uh, to have a talk. So we have a booth in the expo hall. Tomorrow we organize uh, one of the official party in the Aqua Armani Club. And uh, for European people, or if you want to come in Paris on December 5, we will organize the French OpenStack uh, event in Paris. So we invite you to, to join us. So, 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 so uh, Europe is back. That's what we said. <laughs> Uh, we are in Hong Kong today, 7,000, something like that. Let's imagine that uh, in November last year, we can be 10,000 in Paris. Yeah. It's a good challenge. Yeah, it's good. So hope to see you in Paris. Merci. <laughs> you have question? We have time for question before going to the party. No question? Okay, thanks everybody. Thanks, thank you.